Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's uh, get through the rest of these DLC maps. Okay, Arkham tonight. Um, I'll see you around. All right, so no money down. Predator challenge. Gonna go back to these modifiers. Try to find a good. What are you amateurs supposed to be? I think I actually have a pretty good tactic for this map. Okay, let's see. Um, perform a pounce attack on an enemy, then knock him out on the ground. Okay, that's not bad. Corner takedown and ledge takedown. Okay, so I got a pretty good setup for this, I believe. Corner takedown, ledge takedown. Okay, so I think I can just do this. I think I can just grapple gun this guy. And then quickly ledge take down this guy. Although this one's weird. This enemy, like whenever sometimes when I hang from this ledge, the ledge takedown prompt doesn't come up even though it should. But um, definitely like to prioritize these snipers, get them out of the way, because they are a nuisance. This is not going to be pleasant for you. Okay, once again, we go over here, grapple gun, take out this sniper, quickly get on this ledge. Let's take down. There we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna climb up here. Then I'm gonna climb back over, and then I'm gonna do a, a ground takedown. These guys came over here earlier than expected. That's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna wait it out. We gotta try to find a good place to do a corner takedown. I can only do a corner takedown on this guy. Does it really take that long for one bloody freak in a mask? I guess I'll just walk behind him. Are you trying to catch bugs what, or something? Is this guy invisible? Come on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, would let me snap the cover there? Come on, don't be a stupid game. I gotta be careful because I move super fast. I forgot about that. Woo! I'm gonna take this nice and slow. Corner takedown and then the ledge takedown is easy, but the corner takedowns are kind of annoying. Perfect. Okay, so. Why can't I, like, flip over that? I hate when I can't flip over the balcony like that. You can, like, normally double tap like that. But if it's not perfectly level, then it just doesn't let you do it. Pretty annoying if you ask me. Get this ledge take down out of the way. Oh wait. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot. I get the ledge. I do the ledge take down right at the beginning. I'm just wasting time at this point. Whoa, what? What was that all about? Trying to get all cinematic on me? <laughs> it's like, yeah! Slow motion, you're gonna knock that guy? Nope. That slow motion, like, the that it did, made my projectile not uh, become a... It was no longer a one-hit kill. I mean, one-hit knockout. All right, so lot full, 80,000 for three medals. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna go too fancy on this, but I'm gonna try to get a nice score. What are you amateurs supposed to be? I only put a lot of effort into 100 once I get a beautiful combo. This is not as important to me. 
Alright, let's get pretty slow focus, since there is ninjas and martial artist. Okay, good. Yeah. Kick you in the back of the head. Let's not and say we did. Okay. Eighty thousand points. That doesn't seem like it's gonna be too bad. As much as I gripe on the uh, martial artists, I actually really like them. I think they're a very unique uh, enemy variant, and I think they're pretty cool actually. I also really like well the uh, Venom user as an addition because. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to see some of the Banes and Thugs. I'm taking you down. This is the only game they appear in as well. The Enforcers are pretty cool too. You don't scare me. I actually really like the new enemy variants they had in this game. I think they did a really good job. Because it really switches up the gameplay quite a bit. And as tough as they are, they have, there's different tactics in dealing with them. Make a move, Okay, Now you're in trouble. Let's get rid of this lot of the martial artists and then we'll start doing some other stuff. That was so fast. The split second of him trying to attack me, I just countered. I was like, ooh, okay. What? I reacted to that beautifully. No one. No one. No one what? Just no one? I know what you I think she shouldn't man. That was a pretty impressive uh, first round, I would say. Propane tanks are out of the way. I don't like propane tanks. I don't like fire extinguishers either. I just find this few things rather annoying. I do, I, I, I do like some of the taunts these guys throw out. Sometimes, or, sometimes they're pretty funny. You know what I think would have made it a little bit more interesting? If Deathstroke actually occasionally like responded to some of the, uh, the taunts. I don't know. But add a little bit more dimension. But... Probably would have cost a, a lot of, or cost of extra money that they didn't want to spend. So I mean, you know, getting just uh, voice actors for these like simple thugs and all that, you know, you don't really have to pay much for that kind of voice acting. Actually, some, uh, I would say, there's actually a lot of development studios that tend to do their own voice acting, especially when it's like minor characters like this. Wouldn't be surprise me if they did it. If they didn't, if they didn't use some of their own employees to do some of these voices. I don't know though. though. Possible. He's mine. Can't confirm, but I'm surprised. Let's see how much you can take, Deathstroke. Got problems tonight, kid. Oh. You 
Not a happy Christmas for you, Ken. I'm doing extremely well on score. Oh yeah, Enforcer, okay. Round 3 has an Enforcer. Round 4 has an Armor Enforcer. You guys gotta be careful there. I was doing a, a 360, you gotta watch out for that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want a bear hug. No hugs, please. Yeah, that threw me off though, like... I gotta be careful because he does that 360. I don't know if it's just because it's increased aggression. But, uh, yeah, that's just weird. I definitely want to get a beat down on that armor forcer, so I mean armored henchman. So let's uh try to get rid of these faster enemies. I'd start running dead Let's see how much you can take, Deathstroke. Come on, Deathstroke! Try me on for size! Whoa, come down there, buddy. Show me some. Let's take him down! Yeah. Try me on for size. I don't think you can handle Deathstroke's staff. Alright, so... Come on, martial artists. Get out of the corner! I hate martial artists for that reason. They just love hiding in a corner. Just go in the corner go tee hee hee hee. You can't hit me. Fine, wanna be like that? I'll just... I'll just hit you from the front. Come on. Give it a rest already. Again? Fire enough. Come on, martial artist. One thing I hate about martial artists, they just love backing themselves into a corner. Now what's he doing? You don't scare me, death stroke. There we go. Okay, so let's just go work away to the outside. We can make sure this is a successful beatdown. There we go. And it's nice that the, that staff sign does push in away too. Perfect. Okay, that worked uh, pretty well. Pretty happy about that actually. Yeah, I'm not really going to go for very many variations. I can get a lot of points without variations. The thing is, I'm getting, uh, you know, times 20 my multiplayer for every critical strike. And these guys have a lot of extra health. So killing enemies early by going for other variations could actually take away points. I'm not sure, though. Just, just a thought. Let's play! Okay, let's get uh, the new repellent on this last guy. Nope. Oh. I'll take a whack. Come on. I hate new repellent so much. Like okay, this is gonna be a little awkward. Get this. Uh... Okay. Oh, and this guy's near this box too. See. 
That's the kind of stuff I talk. I, I'm talking about. That's what I was worried about. I knew that was gonna happen, or at least I had a feeling it was gonna happen. What is with this guy? Yeah. Oh. Wow. See, it's slow animation, not being in really full focus. Bad news. Yeah, I gotta get that armor off of him. Beautiful. Okay, we're good. This is gonna get messy, and I'm diving in up to my elbows. I've always said I'd make a great butcher. Little did she know. All right, cool. There we go. Again. Another thing I really like about the uh, Batman Arkham games, they have really good sound design. Like, um, <clears throat> there's a different there's a different sound between knocking somebody over um, versus knocking someone out. There's a lot more of a like a thud. So like that, you can like kind of make up the sounds for um, whenever the um, martial artists start countering you. Make a move, I yeah, see, very a lot of distinct sounds, a lot of sound cues. Let's see how much you can take, Deathstroke. He's all mine. I'm glad the uh, redirecting sounds subtle because uh, it get pretty annoying after a while. You ready? I get out of the corner. This is what martial artists do. They just back themselves into a corner. And then just make your life hell. And then back themselves in the corner. And then they use the uh, cameraman to help them. <laughs> yeah, they just combination of being in the corner and the camera uh, getting cl or, you know focusing closer whenever you um whenever you're near like a wall like that let's see how much That's the joke I was trying to make ah uh, me accidentally hitting that um arm and hinge pin bad because I didn't get a free flow focus out of that which left me vulnerable I don't like being in I don't like not having free flow focus with these increasing aggression. Don't give him an edge. I ran a little bit to <laughs> fix my positioning. Like no not stuff like that, little subtle stuff like that, just kinda of make me nervous. Cause I like you, you have very limited timing between each of your hits before your combo gets dropped. Oh, ninjas! I do like when the ninjas appear like that, it's pretty cool. You throw in the smoke bombs and they just appear out of nowhere. Pretty cool spawning. Come on, Deathstroke! How big of a chicken are you? Ninja! Yeah, like when they when they warp like that, that, that sound cue really really helpful. Because then I'll know whether to redirect or just attack a second time. Okay. Come on, Death I remember that used to give me so many problems before. I've gotten used to it though. Down with 
Step it up! Step it up! This is gonna be a really bad Christmas. <clears throat> yeah. Not going for him. I saw him landing near that box. Bad Mm, still too far. Show some mercy. Yeah, pretty pretty good score. Three medals on that. Okay, next is hidden facility, another predator challenge. Okay, let's look at these challenges. Um, great takedown. Uh, fire extinguisher, remote qualm, travel on enemy, pull them off the walkway. Okay, so let's see here. Let's figure out how to do this. Okay, I got a pretty good setup for this actually. Yeah. What I want to do is I'm going to do. Let's see. Oh, I gotta think through this again. There's a particular way I did this. You should run. Alright, so. Careful enemy, pull him off the walkway. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna actually gonna pull this guy up over here. And I'm gonna move over here. Oh, really? Come on. I was gonna try to pull him up. Well, that sucks. Cause I wanted to pull him. I wanted to pull him up on the gargoyle. So I can lure all those enemies over. Oh, you know what? I need to throw a smoke pellet in there. Okay. I, I got this figured out now. I'm afraid the odds aren't in your favor. Yeah, this one's tricky. Not hard, but it's just tricky. We're setting it up. There we go. <clears throat> okay. And then... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, definitely not what I wanted. Yeah, this is all bad news. 
Oh, this is a pain. This is a pain. Mm. The thing is, I'm not trying to target these fire extinguishers. That's what's messing me up so hard. I'm not going for the fire extinguishers at all. Yeah. Okay. Alright, get this guy to distract these people coming down. They can take out this, uh, this guy over here. And I drop down. Great takedown. And then grapple this guy off. So, two for one. And then I'm gonna move over here. And just wait patiently. Let's get this fire extinguisher thing out of the way. And then we just take everyone else out. Okay, perfect. Now let's just finish everyone off with these. Quick fire instant knockout crap. Usually what I'll try to do is I'll try to find some kind of setup where I can knock out like a couple uh, more annoying, more specific metals out of the way right in the very beginning, which I did there. I get the great takedown and immediately take out the get out the jammer backpack, who is also armored, and then take out the armored sniper with the ledge takedown. So I got two takedowns out of the way, got the sniper out, and got the jammer backpack guy out of the way, and then that and then makes the rest a lot easier.